Playboy founder and entrepreneur Hugh Hefner has died. He passed away from natural causes at the Playboy Mansion in Los Angeles yesterday. The 91-year-old created a multi-million dollar adult entertainment empire and in the process became the ultimate Playboy himself. Omar Villafranca takes a look at his legacy. Hugh Hefner wanted to create an upscale men's magazine that stimulated both the intellect and the appetite. The result was an iconic publication and brand, Playboy. The reality is that the Playboy and the Playboy Clubs were the beginning of the sexual revolution. Hefner started Playboy magazine with help from investors, including his own mother. He published the first issue in 1953 from his own kitchen. It featured a color centerfold of a nude Marilyn Monroe and was an instant success. A lot of people buy the magazine for the articles, but it's the centerfolds they remember. Hefner began living the lifestyle his magazine glamorized, which soon led to his first divorce. He expanded his empire to include film production and two short-lived TV programs, including Playboy After Dark and, of course, the Playboy Club. When the Playboy Club first opened, uh, the bunnies were the center of it all, and the costume notwithstanding, which obviously was simply the trademark of, of the brand, the bunnies were uh, empowered in a way that women had not been before, and uh, uh, the bunnies immediately earned more money than their fathers. Feminist Gloria Steinem went undercover to expose the treatment of club employees, publishing A Bunny's Tale. The waitresses had to have internal exams and Wasserman tests for venereal disease, and they were told that this was a requirement of the state. Hello? For a waitress, it wasn't at all. The magazine was famous for its nudity, but also for its headline-grabbing interviews. In 1976, presidential candidate Jimmy Carter admitted, I've committed adultery in my heart many times. Hefner suffered a minor stroke in 1985. He toned down his poolside partying at the Playboy Mansion and married his longtime girlfriend, Kimberly Conrad. They had two sons and later divorced. Hefner's adult daughter from his first marriage took over Playboy from 1988 until 2009. Hefner had a regular rotation of women and celebrities at his famed mansion, some of them appearing on the reality show The Girls Next Door. When you're in love, sex is good at any age. Hefner married his last wife, Crystal Harris, on New Year's Eve of 2012. Looking back on his life for the CBS This Morning series, Note to Self, Hefner said that women would always be his muse, calling himself a hopeless romantic. Omar Villafranca, CBS News. Hefner also championed civil rights and rights for same-sex couples. His funeral plans have not been announced, but years ago, he bought the burial plot next to Marilyn Monroe.